Hey weirdos, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're doing something a little different today. I'm out here behind my house in our backyard. You may be able to hear a little bit of road noise. There's a road right there above the hill. But we'll persevere. Uh, today I am cleaning up some bones. Uh, we found a, well, we knew about her. A cow had passed away on the, the property at the farm and uh, after some time, we found her bones. And to pay tribute, to pay honor to the sacrifice, I'm going to clean them up today and make something beautiful out of them. So I got a bucket of soapy water, a couple jugs of clean water, got my good old fashioned scrubby brush, and I'm gonna take this beautiful skull and some of her other bones and try and get them nice and clean so I can make something out of them. Maybe paint on them, do something. I'm not sure yet. I've got a whole bunch of them. I've got some rib bones, pieces of the spinal column, a little bit of everything. So I've got a lot of plans to do some more 3D art with them. Uh, I've been making dream catchers I've also got a bunch of feathers that I foraged from our chickens last spring. So I'm going to try to use some of the natural materials that we find on our land and make something a little spooky, a little beautiful, and hopefully something you guys enjoy. So if that's your kind of jam, I'd stick around and see what I'm doing. So I'm going to jump into a time lapse now of me scrubbing the crap out of this and I'll meet you back here at the end. Alright everybody, that's about it for me. Uh, I finished the skull, 
missing the tailbone, one of the ribs, a piece of spine, uh, two leg bones, and uh, my wastewater bucket's pretty much full, and it's still early March here in Pensatucky, and my fingies is getting cold, so I think I'm going to wrap it up for today, let these puppies dry, but I actually have two more crates full of bones, so if you guys actually enjoyed this, and you want to see me clean the rest,